What's up, gamers? It's Cooper here inside Perfect World Entertainment's booth. I'm here with Jared Garretson. We are looking at Blacklight Retribution, which is a free-to-play first-person shooter coming up from you guys. He's the project lead, the man to talk to. So, you guys had um, Tango Down come out, yeah. and it was received kind of mixed. What, what have you guys done since then to really pump this up? Well, that's the thing. Uh, Tango Down came out, and it was definitely mixed. Uh, there were definitely flaws, and we, we saw those after it came out, and we really decided to fix everything that was flawed. Totally changed our spawn system, which was the, the biggest yeah. deal. Uh, added a bunch of new systems, added dedicated servers, and then made it free. And we wanted to take those things that we loved in old school games or you know contemporary, but then change it to the Blacklight universe. Really, um, I mean, we brought in, brought back taunts, yeah. so you can taunt guys and be all crazy. And the announcer taunts you too. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's just. <laughs> it's just. Uh, we wanted to do a seriously fun game. So this is the sophomore entry for Zombie Studios. You guys have really done a whole lot between the two games in a, in a short amount of time. Um, have Have you? focused yourself more because now you're just on PC platform? Yeah, well, the last game definitely was harder doing multiple, just multiple SKUs, making it for one certain console when the PC is so powerful. And, you know, we lucked out with none of the none of the consoles being ready to do free to play yet. And that was the focus that we wanted to do. We didn't want to do another Tango Down where it's like we put it out and then we have to battle to get everything balanced out and there's no betas. We're planning on a huge beta for this to get it really dialed in and to make it that that awesome experience. And then not, not only that, but after GDC and Unreal releasing their their DX11 stuff, it's like, dude, we need to do this. We need to really make this game just as good as possible. Most free to plays when you think about it are five year old game engines or you know they're made in I don't know where. But or some games that just didn't make it subscription wise. Yeah I mean or or yeah it's or it's an old game that they made into a free to play. Um, so we really wanted to make this design for free to play and make it have the quality that console games have. Well that retail games have. What do we have for the payloads and stuff like that? Are there classes? Do we go around getting pickups? How, how is that Change. Well, we have a fully customizable character system. So the character or the player gets to choose how their character moves and how much armor they have, or armor they have, and and, and what they look like and, and how they how they play. But then they choose what weapons they have. And as they progress, they unlock new weapons. They unlock new weapon parts. The the fully customizable weapon systems coming back, where you can add new barrels, butts, optics, added new ammo types, so you can have incendiary rounds and all this crazy stuff. These are things you end up buying through the in-game currency. Yeah. So as you play, you get you get combat points, and that converts, in, uh, converts into game points. So you you unlock it, and then you purchase it, and you keep on. The more you play the less you have to pay really but you don't have to pay a dime if you play a lot you won't have to pay that much or, or you can literally earn everything just through time yeah that's the whole idea is not to make it so someone that comes in that pays 60 bucks is gonna be able to own a server I don't want that and and I think the big thing is like if I come in and I don't play as much as a hardcore do um, there's no way I'm gonna be able to keep up I mean obviously we have the standard deathmatch mode what do we have besides the what I just got my butt handed to me on so every, pretty much every standard uh, mode from Tango Down will be there. Deathmatch, control points, capture the flag. We added King of the Hill. Um, we're already starting on some newer, uh, very, very different uh, gameplay modes that'll come out around after beta, so probably around release, uh, that, that I want to surprise people with. Are those things we could expect to be part of content releases down the line? Yeah, absolutely. So we'll, we'll do a monthly content release. Uh, that'll be like gear or weapons, stuff like that, and then we'll do a new map every two months. So that's the big thing. Is we want to make it so... And then game modes will be like big, really big things? Right now we're saying like game modes might be every three months or, or, or maybe if it's a big game mode or if it's... Oh, that's pretty ambitious to come up with that many game, new game modes in a year. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's, there's some game modes that'll be like variants or something like that. But, you know, a game mode can also be like something game changing. Um, it could be, you know, we've got hard suits. So as you play the game, you get combat points, which then you go to the weapon depot and you can buy these crazy weapons. That's so. actually in the match. You're yeah. playing. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like uh, it, it, you ask the question like how it works. So I have my customizable character, and then I customize my my weapon depot loadout, and then I play the game, and I get kills, or I take control points, blow up targets, and then I get combat points, which then I can go to the depot and buy heavy weapons with. 
Uh, it, it allows us to balance the game, so you have to play well to get these weapons, which is our, our biggest weapon right now is the hard suit. It's this giant mechanized beast that you call and you can come and drive. But we didn't want to make it like a tank where throw all your grenades and you run away. We made every single time you spawn in a uh, hard suit, it has a weak point that you can take out with small arms fire. So that's kind of the big balance with that. You guys have the the in-game stuff where you purchase like the hard suits. You also purchase like other grenades and stuff like that too. Yeah, you'll unlock you'll unlock all the systems, and then you use game points uh, to purchase those and, and cycle. But through. then you also have like a meta game purchasing where you actually buy access to have those in the match. No, you'll unlock those uh, just through rank. Oh, okay. So, so you'll unlock a lot of your weapons through rank, but then we're going to have a skill tree. So as you rank up and get a new point, you'll get a skill point that allows you to define your character better. So buying uh, revive kits or repair guns or uh, barricades that you can drop or different weapons that go inside of your weapon depot. So we allow the player to choose how they want to play. It's going to be a pain in the ass for me to balance, but you know, it's totally worth it. But that, hey, that's your job, right? <laughs> so Blacklight Retribution, it's a standard FPS. It's not an MMO FPS. But there are uh, clans and guilds and that kind of thing in there? Yeah, there's going to be clans. Uh, we're going to have a clan ladder system, so you and your clan can go up against other clans. Uh, we're going to have full stat tracking on, on, on websites. Uh, we're going all out with this. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Beta will be uh, in the next few months, uh, and then we're going to be full release uh, this winter. Fantastic. Sounds great. I can't wait to play more and then get in the beta. Awesome. Yeah, no. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you.